In this JavaView online training video, I will be demonstrating different ways to modify the appearance of the JavaView alignment window. I will read a file previously used in the alignment exercise. The URL is shown on the screen and is in the file notes below. Before customizing the alignment, first I will create a new view. I go to the View menu in the alignment window and select New View. Note, because each view has the same underlying data, any edits performed in one view will update the alignments and annotations in all the views. There are a number of ways to customize the JavaView alignment window. By default, the alignments are displayed in the unwrap style, where each sequence is in one long line across the window. The alignment can be wrapped by going to the Format menu and selecting Wrap. Each sequence now lies on multiple lines that fit the width of the window. Notice that the annotation lines are also wrapped. A wrapped alignment is useful for publications and presentations, but it is of limited use when working with large numbers of sequences. Text font can be modified from the Format menu by selecting Font. The font type, its size and style can all be customised. The colours of the residue boxes can be changed via the colour menu as demonstrated in our previous video. A rapid way to change the font size and layout is to click the middle button and drag it across the alignment. The colours of the letters can be changed in the colour menu by selecting text colour and then click on the required colour. In addition to modifying the font and the wrap appearance, there are a number of other options in the Format menu that can be toggled on and off. Show Sequence Limits adds the start and end position of the sequence to its name in the Sequence panel. Write Align Sequence ID will change the position of the name in the Sequence ID panel. Show Hidden Markers reveal or hide the blue arrow that appears when a row or column is hidden. Boxes toggles the background colour of the residues either on or off. Text toggles the one character amino acid identifier either on or off. Colour text aims to improve the contrast between the text and the background and will modify the letter colour according to the background colour associated with the residue. Show gaps toggles the gap in the alignments as either blank spaces or characters. Center column labels change the alignment of the labels in the annotation row relative to the associated column. Show non-conserved is useful for highlighting mutations in highly conserved alignments, as it renders all consensus sequence symbols as a dot. The appearance of annotations can also be customized. For example, the overall position of the annotation rows can be changed by moving the cursor to reveal the reposition icon. Then clicking the icon and dragging it moves the alignment up or down, or left or right. Individual annotation lines can be hidden by placing the cursor on the annotation in the Labels panel, and then right-clicking the mouse. This opens a context menu, and then I select Hide this row. The annotations can be revealed in a similar way, but this time I select Reveal all hidden rows option. All annotations can be toggled on or off by going to the Annotations menu and then selecting the Show Annotations option. The order of the annotations can be changed by clicking on the annotation and dragging it in the Labels panel. Annotations can be resized by placing the mouse over the top of the annotation and left-clicking the mouse and dragging it up or down. For more information, please look at our user manual on the JavaView website at www.jarview.org and do check out our other training videos. Goodbye!